That was an exciting win. That was a, kind of a tale of two, two halves. You know, I don't know that uh, we had a whole lot of control of the first half. Um, not that it was out of control, 16, 14, you know, missing a field goal there before half, um, but never felt like we generated the momentum um, and, and really kind of shut them down. And then the second half to come out, uh, play as well as we did defensively, obviously giving up one score, uh, you know, with as many shots as they took, but, uh, you know, all in all to control the game in the second half. And I think it started up front, offensive line and defensive line. They didn't have an opportunity to, to run the ball real well which gave us a chance. And then obviously our, our offensive line kind of taken over in the second half in that weather, uh, and especially in that last eight minutes, to, to hold the ball for the last eight minutes, take it down to the one yard line, uh, be in a situation like we were, uh, to not have to put your defense back out there on the field. I tell you, uh, it's an exciting time. And uh, this is what I wanted for these guys, the opportunity to, you know, to be in an atmosphere like this, to play for championships. Uh, you kind of get a chance to, to see all your hard work kind of come out and uh, it's not, we know there's nothing that's ever guaranteed to us, but uh, the way these guys have kind of committed to one another and the things that they've done has given them an opportunity to be in this situation uh, and a real opportunity to play for a championship. Three, maybe four games left. Mike Warren has the single season touchdown record already. I don't know what to say about him. Sometimes, um, it, you know, you're not sure he's going to be able to continue to do what he's done, but. You know, they're, they're sitting there over there hollering, hey, why is he making a move? Do, and they're, you know, on the headset, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, he breaks two, three, four more tackles, and he's down to the one yard line. It's like, hey, let's uh, quit uh, second guessing him and just give him the ball and let him go. But, uh, you know, his ability to do everything is, is what really makes him special. You know, last year he wasn't, he got the ball a little bit, but he was a great special teams guy. This year he's a guy that can catch the ball in the backfield. He can, he can obviously uh, run the ball, he can, actually, he can block really well. Uh, heck, we even had an opportunity for him to throw the ball last week. So uh, he, uh, he's special, and I, and I try to tell guys, if he wasn't starting tailback for us, he'd be starting someplace on the defense. He's just, he's just a football player. No, no. Had, had someone asked about, is it tough to prepare when you don't know who's going to be at quarterback? And I said, no, it wasn't tough to prepare because we had no idea. Never heard anything about um, it wasn't going to be the quarterback, uh, you know, so it was kind of a shock to us. And then to have the, have the ability to, for both of them to kind of bounce back and forth, I think it, it hurt us a little bit defensively, you know, trying to maybe be a little bit too perfect and, you know, trying to hone in on who was in there as opposed to, you know, just letting it go and, and playing the way we play, being aggressive to the things that we're doing. And, um, but it, it was different. It was, <clears throat> you know, I don't, uh, I don't know that we had the preparation for it. And, you know, hindsight, you got to go back and look at that. Uh, I'm not sure we would have changed a whole lot, but I know that uh, you know we'd at least been probably ready for a little bit different you know quarterback run game and some of the things and even some of the shots down the field that the younger guys um, you knew was going to be more their kind of style as opposed to some of the other passing game that they'd done earlier on in the year. Does it feel like opposing offenses just kind of decided we're not going to get a whole lot in the box? We're going to throw it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I I, I kind of felt like that today. Because I thought this was a team that you know that ran the football really well. Not that they're you know overly sophisticated in what they do. They spread you out, but but uh, I was worried that I thought both of their tailbacks were really good football players. Um, you know, and as much as they spread you out, they, they they make you be really sure in your tackling. You know, because they were they both of those guys can kind of go the distance. They're 80 yard guys. They can circle the defense pretty quick. But to see them, I wouldn't say give up on the run, but not you know not try to pound it in there as much as maybe I'd have thought they would have. Uh, you know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it is something. I think those uh, those two guys we got up front are are really good football players, and uh, you know they're they're why to me, you know why we are where we are. You know when your seniors are playing their best ball, when your seniors are playing above even their their natural God given abilities, um, it gives you a chance to be special. Your role like made some stops today, Stephanie on these big big plays. He has continued to grow. You know, and he might not be your prototypical Will linebacker, but then again, neither is Perry Young. You know, he's 5'10 or something like that. <clears throat> and he's transitioned from playing outside linebacker to playing Will linebacker. Um, he started in the OU game, and, you know, it was a little bit different for him. You know, there's, it's just different visually in there. Uh, but he, he came up big for us today. I mean, his ability to play in nickel, to play the Mike and the Will in nickel, and then play the Will in, in, uh, in, in base, and then beyond the special teams that he was on. Um, I tell you what, he has, he has grown up a lot here in the last year, year and a half, and uh, he could be a special football player for us. What have you seen from him in terms of development? 
Well, Rashad's one of the fastest guys we got on the team. And, uh, you know, just the ability to, to have that confidence level. You know, we threw one early on the, um, he was kind of shoved out of bounds, <clears throat> but it wasn't like we lost faith in it. You know, had the ability to come back to him. Uh, him and Dez have a good connection, um, you know, and, and if you can get him in some one on one, I think that, you know, they played a little more zone on us today for their defense than, than I would have suspected. You know, last year, I don't know that we saw a snap of zone against them. Um, they just got up on us, took us away, pressed us, pushed us around the field. Uh, and to see him kind of come out and play some zone on our wideouts for the first time, I thought was, you know, one of those things where you say, okay, maybe they have a little bit of, maybe our guys are starting to earn some of that respect and the ability to hit the ball down the field and throw the ball. Uh, but then when they did go back to man, shot has a chance to, he has a chance to win a lot of one-on-ones. So yeah, it's a weapon for us. It won't be any different. It's one game at a time. Um, you know, people asked about that this week. Hey, would you guys ever look? No, how could we look past anything? I mean, someone said it was kind of like a redemption tour. <laughs> Every game we've kind of been in, if they look back at last year, there's, there's absolutely nothing to overlook. Um, this is just another great opportunity for us. You know, the, excited for the atmosphere for these guys, uh, you know, to have, you know, just down there, but around campus and the feel that they have. And, um, you know, our, our maturity will have to show how we can handle some of this stuff. You know, they've done it each and every week this year. You keep talking, I keep talking about, hey, how do you handle some, some praise and some success, you know, and it's going to continue again. And that's, it's a great problem to have. Last year we had to worry about the criticism. Um, but I think that uh, the way our seniors are playing, the way our seniors have led, I'm excited for them. Anything else? Thank you. Thanks.